94 all the way up he keeps going um, up from there and he shot this is his front sight from 494 to 495 and so 0 is the is the decimal degree that he shot and measured and um, this back sight is when he was at when he was standing at the waypoint 495 he looked back with his abney level and shot back to 494 and saw that this is 0 so the back the back sight is at just a verification of the front sight so typically we want to be within one decimal degree of the front sight for the back sight. So when, when you have a one here on his front sight, he shot a one, a positive one. On his back sight, he shot a zero. So that's within the range that's acceptable. Um, you can see here his front sight was a zero and his back sight was a um, negative 0.5 degrees. So that's still within one. If he had if he had shot back and got a negative two and a half degrees, he would go back and then reshoot, redo a foresight, and then redo a backsight to make sure he can get those within one degree. Um, and that just ensures that your survey is accurate as you're going along. So the only thing that we're going to actually do is 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 use the front sight data. We don't actually use the backsight data in the spreadsheet. So um, air steel did an ABME level survey for the supply side, not the distribution side. So I actually did this wrong, but this is this will this will become I just updated the supply side, so let me change that. Supply. And then distribution. put these in order all right so this is where you would import your right in this column is where you would put in your angles that you measured but um, there was no there was no angles measured for the supply side so you'll see it when we do that on the distribution side so let's get on with this and fill this side out as well um, let's see which waypoints we're interested in so looks like we go from 494 all the way up to the reservoir, which is 534. Copy that. Paste that here. 494, I remember, is the center of town. All the way down to four, uh, 534, which is the reservoir. Let's copy the rest of the data. that copy your longitude and latitude oops did I do that wrong copy your, your longitude and latitude and paste this all right now so now we have same thing here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put a zero here. <coughs> uh, what this shows you again, just like the supply side, is um, all your waypoints are in here, your, your GPS elevations, longitude, and latitude, and it shows you your horizontal distance and then your cumulative distance. So from the center of Morrency, the town, all the way to the reservoir is 833.8 meters. Um, and then it gives you an elevation change of, so it says you start at 6.2 meters above sea level and you go all the way to 71.9. So we want to check that accuracy because we think that the, the ABNY level survey is actually more accurate typically than a GPS. So that's, um, especially, especially when we're doing a distribution system, it's really important to, to check the GPS elevation because it can be influenced by weather um, because typically those handhelds are, um, 
they use an altimeter in there so if like a storm front came through when you're out there on the assessment um, it could really just throw off your um, your elevations and then you don't want to base your design off of that basically so <clears throat> let's go ahead and start manually inputting these things so if you look at his um, if you look at his sheet the first couple front sites we're just going off the front sites are zero 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 so that means there's no slope it's just a flat land uh, the roads flat um, here we go have a little positive increase you're going uphill one degree um, here we go then it's flat again then you go uphill half a degree um, a couple of positive slopes here let's move to the next sheet um, still going up positive starting to increase a little bit five five six and then um, it starts to get a little bit steeper here um, you have a short period here where it's a negative slope um, it's going back downhill a little bit and then it comes pretty steep back uphill um, so I'm going to go ahead and um, manually input these. Um, Alright, so these are in, uh, his sheet is written in decimal degrees. So, for example, if he had a negative, it, it's, it's, it's a decimal degrees. Um, while this Abney design sheet goes in degrees and minutes. So that's the difference when you have to kind of convert that in your head while you input this data so uh, the way you the format you have to follow is you have to put a tick mark there and the first seven um, shots are all zero so I'm gonna go ahead and fill those in so I put a zero for the degrees and then you have to put a decimal to separate your degrees and your minutes and then you have to put two zeros for zero minutes um, so I'm gonna go ahead and follow that you put a decimal or a, you put a tick mark 0, 0.00 do that seven times Alright, so this looks like where we start to get a little bit of variation. Um, this is a positive 1% increase, or one, 1 degree increase. So tick mark 1.00. Okay, so this next one is um, this is where it gets a little tricky. You have to do that conversion in your head. Um, so 504 to 505, let's look at that on his sheet. 504 to 505, his front sight says positive 0.5 degrees increase. So 0.5 degrees is actually equals 30 minutes. So the way you write that in here is you put a tick mark like you always have to do and you put a zero for the degrees and then you have to put a 30 for the minutes. It's not half a degree, it's 30 minutes now. So put that in there, that's, um, it's important that you put this tick mark because if you don't put the tick mark, and I just put 0 0.30, um, you're gonna get an error. See how there's no change in elevation there? So the way you know if you put the tick mark there is in the top left of the cell, a little green triangle will pop up. So watch when I put a tick mark and put the correct number of digits. You'll get that that uh, green arrow in the top left corner and you'll actually get a change in elevation like you should. So that's, that's when you know you're good. Um, I'm gonna continue to um, to upload this or to, to, to fill this out, but I just wanted to show you, if, say you have a negative number, like a negative 11 degrees all of a sudden, which there will be a couple negatives in here. You still put that tick mark and you put, in, you put the negative sign inside of it an 11.00 like that. Um, if you have a negative with a, let's say it's negative 6.5 degrees, you would do a tick mark, a negative sign, a 6.30, because it's not 6.5 degrees, it's negative 6 degrees in 30 minutes. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete these. I'm gonna fill out the rest and um, let you guys skip forward to that. All right, so I'm getting here to the end of these, and I'll just fill these last couple ones out. 11 degrees, positive slope. 19 degrees, positive slope. 21 degrees, positive slope. 
17.5 degrees or 17 degrees 30 minutes slope and 16 degrees positive slope so just a little bit about how this spreadsheet works um, after you finish manually inputting all these angles you use this trigonometry to calculate the, your, your elevation above sea level and then we can compare that to what our, our GPS device was saying so if you look here our GPS device says we move from the center of town we go from 6.2 meters above sea level to 71.9 while our abney level says we go from 6.2 up to 65.2 so the difference there is equals this cell minus this cell 6.7 meters so that's a pretty big difference that could that could make a big difference in your distribution system one of your tap stands might not have pressure um, you might not be able to get over a local high point um, so it's important to, important to know that so um, let's move over to the next tab which is called elevation profiles so this is where we're going to be able to see the fruits of our labor and see uh, and see the um, basically see the elevation that we got from the GPS and the Abney side by side. So the, this first one, this first one's titled Elevation Profile Supply Side. I'm going to zoom out a little bit over here. You click over here to zoom out. If you click in the center of the chart, and then you right click, press Select Data. Um, this is where you you enter series, you can enter multiple series to compare them side by side. Um, if you click on this GPS series and, and say edit, 